Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. We'll look at a problem for exam P today. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University, which you can find at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. And if you would like to make a tax deductible donation, to our program, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's the problem for today. An insurance company estimates that 40% of policyholders who have only an auto policy will renew next year, and 60% of policyholders who have only a homeowner's policy will renew next year. The company estimates that 80% of policyholders who have both an auto and homeowner's policy will renew at least one of those policies next year. Company records show that 65% of policyholders have an auto policy, 50% of policyholders have a homeowner's policy, and 15% of policyholders have both an auto and homeowner's policy. Using the company estimates, calculate the percentage of policyholders that will renew at least one policy next year. Remember one very important thing, that you should start by labeling the events and writing out what you know. And also note that when you have a problem like this from basic probability and you, hear, you see information about percentages, you should just interpret that as probabilities. So let A be the event that the policyholder has an outer policy, H be the event that a policyholder has a homeowner's policy, and R be the event that a policyholder renews a policy. We are given that probability of A is 0.65, probability of H is 0.50, and probability of A intersection H is 0.15. And then the probability of renewal, given that a person has auto and not homeowners, is 0.40. The probability of renewal, given that a person has homeowners and not auto, is 0.60. And probability of renewal, given that the person has both auto and homeowners, is 0.80. Um, what are we looking for? We're looking for the probability of R. So remember the steps. You label the events, write out what you know, and then write clearly what you're looking for. B make sure that you know what it is. So what we're looking for is the probability of R. We also know that the probability of A intersection H is the probability of A minus H. That's a, set theoretical difference. Uh, and the probability of A minus H, generally that's not equal to probability of A minus probability of H. It's only equal if H is inside of A, if it's a subset of A. But it is equal to the probability of A minus in A intersection H. So, um, we can now, this A intersection H is actually inside of A, so we can write it as a difference of probabilities. Plug in the numbers and then we know that this is 0.50. Probability of A complement intersection H, that's probability of set theoretical difference, set difference uh, between H and A. And the same way we write it as the probability of H minus H intersection A. Now H intersection A is inside of H, so that's equal to property of H minus property of A intersection H. And again, we plug in the numbers and we get 0.35. Also, we can note immediately that the events A intersection H C, A C, or A complement intersection H, and A intersection H from a partition of the probability space considered. Because every person considered has at least one policy. So every person has either auto and not homeowners, or homeowners and not auto, or both. So the probability of R is the probability of R intersection the first set plus R intersection, the second set plus R intersection, the third set from the partition of the space. And then that's equal to property of R given A intersection HC times property of A intersection HC plus property of R given A, a complement intersection H times the property of in that intersection 
plus probability of R given A intersection H times probability of A intersection H. And now all of the numbers that we're using here are given, all of the properties were given, so we just plug it in and we get 0.53, which is answer D. Please remember this is copyrighted material and exercises that come from Society of Actuaries or Casualty Actual Society belong to them, are reproduced with permission, but solutions are mine. Good luck in your studies and good luck on your tests.